Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And go ahead if you haven't done so yet, and like, subscribe, comment, or share. Whatever you like, because this is a safe space. Do whatever you want. And this week, after watching RuPaul's Drag Race, I was really rooting for Cameron, you know? I've always been like a fan of Cameron Michaels, but this episode, I really feel like he was able to show a more of his personality and really, you know, really kind of came into his own this episode. So I'm really excited to see what comes more from him. And I love his southern charm. So I'm super excited to do his look this week. And as you guys know, I love to do looks uh, from the show, but also I love to do them in an unconventional way. So grabbing some sort of, you know, unconventional material that I just that just like, kind of gravitates towards me, you know, when I'm coming up with the, you know, when I'm thinking about the look, or kind of just like brainstorming about it. Um, and this week, I decided to use pretty much completely Ikea bags. Like these are 99 cents, and I'm gonna do the entire look out of it. So this is probably gonna be one of the, like the cheapest looks I've ever done. What I'm gonna do first, is I'm going to basically just cut the handle and the, Sides of the bag off here so then it just becomes basically a sheet of material rather than being a bag anymore so basically we're gonna drag out the bag it's gonna have a whole new life and we're gonna make it happen now look at all that beautiful blue fabric you have how amazing! For 99 cents! Talk about drag on a dime or 9.9 dimes. So, what I'm gonna do is with this in half, I actually decided to just like an old t shirt that I don't use anymore. We all have those. And then I'm gonna cut it out. So, I'm gonna trace one side of the shirt on one side, this side of the shirt on the other, cut it out, and then we use some like blue duct tape to kind of just like put it back together again then cut it so it can be the cardigan or not cardigan so it can be like a vest like like she's wearing and then i can kind of like shape it a little bit better we can cut it from it all that good stuff and then we're gonna move on to the skirt all right so now that you have put the t-shirt shape that you cut out on yourself and you're gonna leave a little bit of room to get into it since this plastic has no stretch. So you can put it together on both sides of the tape and then I'm gonna cut through it because it's a vest. So I'm just gonna cut through here and then we'll be able to then hot glue on the side so it's cleaner and we will have our vest shape. Listen, you guys, I want you guys to understand one thing. It says, please be advised, your motion, letter, or petition to dismiss has been granted by issuing agency and no further action required. This is because I will- Alright guys, so now that I have the vest about the shape that I want it, I am just adding some crystals while looking at the picture of Cameron Michaels' look. Um, so I'm starting the button as you see on the bottom. I'm going to add, you know, that kind of detail throughout the whole thing. And really, it was super easy to find the crystals that I'm using. I got them for two dollars at um, at Walmart, and they're just like these very very simple like gemstones. And I got them in various sizes to go on my look. So let's see how this turns out, though. Once you finish bedazzling and bejeweling your beautiful vest. All right, so now that I've got the vest pretty much, you know, more or less where I want it. So far, so good. I added some little crystal buttons, um, kind of like those details on the side. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for the skirt. Um, and what I've done is I've already cut these panels and put them together. So what I wanna do is I kind of want to see what size my waist is for where I want the skirt to sit. Once I decide where I want the skirt to sit on my body, I'm gonna then, and like, you know, how big I need it to be, I'm gonna then go ahead and put some tape. 
then I'm actually literally gonna cut it off of me. Now that it's bare, I need it. So I have actually on the inside of the skirt, I have completely laid it out and I have put silver duct tape. But what I'm going to do next, because I'm not happy with that, I want to make it super sparkly. And I got some silver sparkly spray paint that I'm going to spray all over it. Alright guys, so this is what I have so far. As you see, I took a piece of fabric, I cut it out, and I added stones like this um, all the way throughout here. I'm um, using my IKEA bag straps from there. Um, and this is my finished vest and I'm very happy with it so um, if you guys make this look I cannot wait to see how your vests turn out then this is my skirt that I made this is the inside of it so all silver like hers then this is the back side and so and as you see I created some I just added a piece of um, more of the bag to create a velcro moment Bam! Um, so that I can just tie that around my waist really easily. And now what I'm going to do, um, what I came up with to create that ripple effect, is I cut it very uneven. And then I'm going to hot glue in pieces. Um, just little, you know, as, as I cut like a little divot here as well. I'm just going to hot glue here and here. And here and kind of create this like rippling effect so it looks like my skirt you know is more of a softer fabric than actually being this plasticky bag so let's see if I can create that illusion I'm excited all right guys so now I have my skirt it's not as long as I wanted it but it's okay you know what it's IKEA bags so I tried my best um, so that's my skirt and my vest so far so now I have to add the panels in the front um, and make some silver underwear and some little shoulder thingies and that look is a C plus.